Before any of it, a goat appeared in a piebald sweater, beardless and tethered at the collar on half a tennis court of land up a rutted lane above the road. Doubtless a horse once clip-clopped there before a trap, a whip, a tweed of farmer with bushels and crates of cabbages, parsnips, blue duck eggs to pay the country doctor. Not now and not then, we drive home between the fields. She is radioactive, or lately was, and sleeps on the doses of nitrogen mustard a country doctor has called for. Little goat, forgive me. I shouldn't do this. All you do is munch your poxy plain of grass, your kingdom for a caper. If at night you sing your tired chin to sleep, it's not a metaphor, it's a tragedy. Instead, let's say a ship arrived one day. Let's say its decks were delicate, polished oak. Let's say happy, impossible winds steered it. Let's say the captain, sweeping his spyglass over the hills, after all this time, found us 